Good morning everyone, my name is Amelia and I'm joining you from beautiful Bali and today is a great day because I'm going to be taking you behind the scenes on a photo shoot around some of my favourite locations on this magical island I call home. And then let's go! <laughs> Okay guys, so what I've got here is we've got this beautiful golden light coming in across our frame, just like this. I'm getting May to look up a little bit away from the light, more towards me. And we're catching this really nice light just on, we call it Rembrandt lighting. So you look a little bit slowly that way. Yeah, a bit more towards me, very slowly. More, more, more. Yes, that's it. So we get this little triangle of light on her cheek on this left hand side. It's super beautiful. Can you? So we've got some really nice light coming in across this way and we've actually got some really nice wind coming in as well. So it's perfect. It's kind of giving this sort of uh, adventure vibe. Beautiful. So you can see that it's illuminated just that other cheek and that's something that's very reminiscent of what we call Rembrandt lighting. And for portraits, it's absolutely beautiful. So we're getting some really nice light on both eyes. Now guys, the other thing you can do is something like this. If we were going to use it, um, like this, what we can do is line her up on the rule of thirds. So you can see here that we've got her eye on the intersecting third. And can you look towards the light for me? Three, two, one, open. Perfect, really nice. So that's a, a neat little trick to help your model because looking at the sky, <laughs> at the sun for a long time can cause cataracts, I'm sure. Um, so what we're gonna do is try to minimize that as much as possible. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to play around with some symmetry and we're gonna get a shot looking straight across our model and towards sort of like towards the sun. So what we're going to do is it's kind of a backlit shot, but I think it can make a really beautiful picture if we get it right. So what I'm going to do is get it a face towards the sun so that we're getting it nice and lit up on one side. All right, it's a really nice shot. Yeah, and just looking back at me just like you just did, really pretty. So you can see here what I'm doing is I'm lining up the canoe here right at the front. I might actually use a wider lens. You can see here, it makes the front of the canoe now look a bit longer. Perfect, really nice, really pretty. And you can see here that I've lined up the horizon in the center of our frame as well. Perfect, really nice shot. Uh, twist your whole body more towards the light, the other way. So what we're doing is we're creating shape here with her body as well. So we've got long legs here and then a triangle here using her hat. Perfect, can you sit up a bit straighter for me? Perfect, nice, looks really good. All right, I think we might have got it. I'm gonna get one closer shot as well while we have this really nice light. Just like this. A little bit more towards the sun. Yes. And then maybe just holding a hat with this hand. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. Just looking through that triangle. Really nice frame. Beautiful, yeah. Absolutely perfect. Okay guys, so that wraps up our time in the lake. I'm so happy with the photos we just took there at the lake. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump in the car and we're gonna head to my favorite waterfall here in Bali and get some more portraits. Okay, let's go. Hey guys, so we're at our next destination, which is this beautiful waterfall up in the mountains of Bali. What we're gonna be doing is learning some posing techniques that you can use with friends or family. Often when we're shooting friends or family or even like amateur models, is that they can feel quite stiff. And what we wanna do is try to help them relax and kind of get into the flow so they can really unlock the potential and get some amazing portraits. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Okay, so I'm sure you guys have already realized that Maya is pretty comfortable in front of the camera. But what we're gonna do is still show you guys some different techniques as though she wasn't. All right, so let's get started. I want you to like cross your legs as you're running so to create shape, yeah? And then let your hands just fall to the side. So I'm gonna use a wide angle lens here and get down nice and low. All right, beautiful, so let's go. Beautiful. Okay, and go. Okay, so one of the first things we're going to play around with is just movement. Sometimes just moving just a little bit can really help sort of get your model to ease a little bit. 
So the first thing we're gonna do is twirling. So it's so simple, we have a big flowing dress and we're gonna get some amazing shots. Okay, Mia, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just twirl, yeah? All right, and go. So looking up and then just release it like this, yeah. Okay, and go. So here, all she's gonna do is just slowly open and close her dress. Yeah, just like that. Beautiful. And just look here, looking up, like chin up. You can see here I'm getting nice and low with the shot as well. Getting the whole waterfall in. And I'm using a nice wide angle lens as well. Beautiful. So you can see from that shot, by just creating a little bit of movement, all of a sudden the model sort of relaxes and we can get some great shots. So what we're gonna do now is get Maya to stand up on the rock and it's going to be pretty hard for her to hear over the sound of the waterfall. So I'm going to have to use hand signals. So if I go like this, it might mean to turn around. If I say like look up, it means to like this, to look up. So it's going to play around with a couple of shots like that. And she's going to stand there and just let the wind kind of just gather the dress and just give some movement. And always remember like just to have fun, laugh, play around, make a joke if you can. Be silly if she can't hear you or he can't hear you. And yeah, just have fun. All right, so let's give it a go. Okay, so perfect. And then I want you to look up like this and just drop your arm. Yes, cool. So nice. Yeah, looking straight at me. Yeah. Perfect. Let's give me a big smile. Yeah. Yeah. And let this arm flow backwards, kind of like, yeah. Beautiful shot. Okay, so it's really nice. So now let's play around with some portraits. So. You can twist a little bit to the side for me. Yeah, that's it. Beautiful. And if you want to, you can like hold your face or... Yes, nice. Perfect. We're going to switch over to portrait mode. Nice, that's it. Looking this way for me. Beautiful. Okay. Lovely. So good. Okay guys, so that's a wrap for this. Definitely a wrap. She's freezing. It's actually pretty cold here. The water is freezing, but we had such a good time and I hope you guys enjoyed following us along for today and experiencing what it's like to be a portrait photographer here in Bali.